we block five. And the next, we have two uh, more presentation for this uh, afternoon. The next presenter is uh, Maria Svedova and uh, her talk, Going Beyond Standard Ukrainian, How a Corpus Informs a New Dictionary. The floor is yours. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I want to present our uh, uh, morphological dictionary, uh, which uh, um, is not my work uh, only. I, I am compiling the large reference corpus of Ukrainian, and we use the um, uh, grammatical dictionary by Vasil Starko and Andrei Rysin, who are uh, uh, lexicographers here, but Vasil Starko was not allowed to come from Ukraine. So I, I present our, our work. So this is a slide about our reference corpus of Ukrainian. I am collecting the texts of uh, uh, more than uh, 200 years. Uh, and uh, uh, I, uh, I use for lemmatization uh, the dictionary. And uh, when uh, something is uh, not lemmatized, I inform Vasil and Andri uh, and, uh, that uh, they should add these features to their morphological dictionary. And so uh, I think we uh, improved it. It became descriptive dictionary of uh, Ukrainian grammar. Here is the slide about dictionary. Uh, here is the link. It is called the SUM, it's a Ukrainian abbreviation. It's now the uh, largest uh, dictionary of Ukrainian and uh, the largest uh, morphological dictionary. And we have a morphological anal analysis system of Ukrainian based on this dictionary and some rules. And uh, uh, this uh, vesum based morphological system lemmatize 99% of standard text. Here is a, an example of how it works. It's a uh, uh, pretty good result, but my problem is uh, that not all um, texts in my corpus are standard. And we'll talk about it. A uh, few words about the Ukrainian language. In the Ukrainian language, we have a, a really high degree of grammatical variation due to its history. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it has much more variation than, for example, Polish or Russian we can compare it with Belarusian language. In uh, Ukrainian language, we uh, have uh, historical regional variants and uh, uh, dialects which are still spoken, uh, which has uh, uh, their own regional features, which influence uh, spoken Ukrainian in uh, different regions and even written Ukrainian. So this uh, complicates our task uh, of computer processing of Ukrainian texts. We have uh, a lot of non-standard variants in Ukrainian. Here are our dialects, uh, the three main groups. And here, uh, here is the um, uh, school map, or political divisions of the Ukrainian ethnic territory before and between the world wars. I uh, placed it here just to show you that um, the uh, Ukrainian-speaking uh, territory historically was divided. We had uh, uh, two main centers of standardization in Kyiv and uh, in, in Lviv, and Ukrainian language was, was uh, strongly influenced by Polish and German here on the west and by Russian in the central and eastern part. Uh, so it, it's important for our morphological dictionary. And we, we still uh, have uh, different uh, norms of standard Ukrainian. We have many um, local differences uh, now in modern Ukrainian. You can see that the first common norm, uh, common standard of Ukrainian language uh, was created in uh, 1920s, in the uh, late 20s. And uh, uh, it, it was... Uh, um, used for a very short period later in uh, early 30s. Uh, it was changed uh, because of the Soviet uh, language policy uh, and the Ukrainian uh, norm was moved closer, closer to Russian uh, language. And this first um, united norm is still used in Ukrainian diaspora in other countries. 
and uh, uh, so so, so uh, on the right side you can see an example of lexical doublets. It's uh, synonyms, uh, words which um, mean uh, just the same. Yes, and we have uh, a lot of such uh, lexical doublets uh, as uh, in Belarusian. Uh, this is the same one uh, came from Polish and one came from from, from Russian. Uh, so, sorry, not from, through, uh, uh, sometimes from other languages, but through, through Polish and Russian. And here uh, you, you can see the modern um, Ukrainian orthography rules, uh, which uh, um, uh, normalized a lot of variants for many cases. For example, uh, the genitive case uh, ending of uh, feminine singular nouns with final t. Radist. It uh, can be radosti and radosti, uh, as in different um, norms, uh, historical norms. And uh, the most of these uh, variant rules uh, um, describes the transliteration of foreign words. Yes, so in Ukrainian it uh, may be georg or georg. Uh, uh, these are uh, historical variants, and now um, by these rules on to, of 2019, both uh, variants uh, are possible. Uh, and here uh, I want to show you the text of newspaper. It's one of the texts uh, that uh, I added to uh, our corpus and, uh, to prove that. Uh, it, in fact, in this text, we, we can found, find, in many cases, non-standard forms. Uh, in this presentation, I'll show you newspapers because newspaper texts are the most standardized. Uh, in other uh, texts, we, we have even, even, more, even more variants. Uh, here in these newspapers, you can see uh, the uh, verb, hotite, uh, to want, uh, standard uh, third-person plural form is uh, hochut, um, but here in this text we have hotet. One more example, it's uh, um, a verb uh, as well, uh, first-person uh, plural form. Uh, it should be predemo, uh, but here we have freedom. And here you can compare uh, two uh, grammatical dictionaries of Ukrainian. On the left side, uh, we uh, see the academic grammatical dictionary, and on the uh, right side, we uh, can see the sum, our dictionary, which we use to lemmatize uh, our corpus. And this form, uh, can I go, pre dem, we have in uh, the sum, hodim. Uh, forma, it's a uh, vernacular form. And if you compare uh, these two tables, you can see that um, in the sum we have uh, much more verbal forms. We have two variants of infinitive. Hodeti, hodit, hodit, hodit. Uh, we have um, um, some more uh, forms of, uh, um, of First person plural. Uh, here, uh, here, tilke vodimo, hodimo, and uh, in the sum we have three forms. Hodim, uh, hodimte, which is wrong, and we have a tag for, uh, for it, uh, and, and so on. We have two uh, variant forms of um, third person singular, uh, hodit and hode, uh, which is vernacular. Uh, and, and some others. And here is noun. Uh, uh, for noun, we have uh, non-standard forms as well. It's very interesting. Um, uh, look at the accusative. Uh, in accusative, uh, for inanimate nouns, in Ukrainian, we have a main form, uh, which is the same as nominal. Uh, kavun is watermelon. Uh, kavun uh, without deflection. But in Ukrainian, uh, as in Polish, as in Belarusian, as in 
other, some other Slavic languages. Uh, we have the second form of accusative, uh, which uh, um, is the same as the form of animate um, uh, nouns. Uh, here, uh, they gave us another noun, uh, kajan. Kajan is animate with this hand in uh, the same as in genitive. And uh, here in the Zoom, we can see that uh, kavun, an animate noun, uh, can have this form as well. And here is the proof uh, from the newspaper. Napravili lista, list is a letter, uh, letter in accusative uh, form uh, as uh, uh, in genitive. Uh, no, uh, standard will be napravili list, uh, but in uh, many texts we have this um, second accusative form. So, and now we, uh, we will uh, look on the tags, the tags which we have for um, different groups of non-standard um, uh, lemmas and uh, word forms in the Zoom. Uh, the uh, most frequent tag is bad. Uh, first, uh, the Zoom was created uh, for the uh, um, program of spelling and style correction language tool. Uh, so uh, many uh, uh, words and word form which are standard and you can find it in a standard dictionary are marked as bad if they are uh, just not recommended stylistically. And uh, for example, um, uh, uh, genitive singular form of masculine noun, it can be uh, a and u, and it's a, a very complicated rule of uh, 20 points uh, when it is a and when it is u, and in, in corpus, uh, of course, they are uh, mixed uh, very often. Yeah, the um, second most, most frequent case is uh, the variant yich, uh, possessive uh, plural third person noun pronoun um, in standard for Ukrainian is yichni, uh, but in in the text yich uh, uh, is used uh, also very often. Uh, the second tag is substandard. We have uh, uh, much less uh, items marked as as substandard, uh, there are vernacular forms. And then we have tag for alternative spelling. And here uh, you, um, you can see the autoepic and autographic variant, lampa, lampa. Uh, of course, it is the same word, uh, but lampa is the Western Ukrainian variant, which is uh, uh, used by some people and now, and uh, uh, it is in uh, many old texts which are included uh, to the corpus. So uh, we added it to the dictionary with the tag uh, alt. One more uh, modern variant, it is very uh, widespread uh, since 2022 in Ukrainian, not only um, internet communication, but in social media, in uh, my students write it in their dorm works, uh, Russia, Russia in uh, lowercase. So we need to lemmatize it correctly. It's uh, uh, another um, example of alternative spelling. And uh, here you see underlined uh, um, uh, those uh, forms, grammar uh, forms, which are um, non-standard, which are not included in uh, academic dictionary, and uh, it has, uh, you see, different tags. Uh, we have tags short uh, for um, short verbal forms and uh, some uh, adjective forms. We have uh, tag long. Uh, for adjective, yes, uh, standard um, 
uh, Ukrainian adjectives uh, are uh, short in, in nominative. Uh, uh, it, it is long in uh, all, all the form we, um, the uh, short adjectives in historical sense uh, were not uh, saved in Ukrainian with uh, some exceptions, uh, but uh, in uh, some forms were shortened later. And uh, here is a, the example. Harna, harnu, uh, harne are standard forms. And uh, harnaya, harnuyu, harnaye are long forms, which uh, you can find in uh, um, uh, f uh, family letters, in uh, uh, f poetry, in some folk texts. Yes, and uh, the last tag is rare. Um, you can see uh, some uh, rare forms of uh, the verb booted to be. Yes, yeah, uh, see, suit, which are originally church Slavonic, but uh, uh, they are um, attested in some Ukrainian texts. Uh, and finally, we uh, add to the sum uh, big uh, uh, lists of words of uh, some non-popular uh, derivational models. Uh, this is an example of uh, list uh, of, uh, of uh, lemmas with the prefix od. In Ukrainian, we have um, two variant prefixes, vid and od, and uh, uh, the same preposition. Which means which which means from uh, historically it is the same word the same prefix uh, uh, all this Slavonic ot um, which uh, um, uh, changed phonetically historically in uh, different dialects in different ways and uh, in modern Ukrainian standard this uh, vid and uh, you can find in the dictionaries all these words which uh, with the prefix vid, and uh, uh, sometimes some of them uh, with the prefix od are also included, but not uh, uh, so many lemmas as, as we need, as we find it in text. And uh, this uh, od variant is uh, still used. We can find it in internet communications of the uh, those regions where um, it is uh, present in uh, dialects. And here is the, uh, the last example. We added uh, more than 4,000 lemmas uh, with the suffixes uh, achi, uchi. Uh, those, these are um, uh, active, part active part participle, <laughs> uh, which uh, um, are uh, banned from uh, uh, Ukrainian standard uh, language and uh, our ed editors uh, uh, will correct, will change these uh, uh, items in, in, in the text. Uh, and they are not included in the dictionaries, but still uh, we have a lot of them in the text, uh, in, in the modern text too. And we need to lemmatize it. So that's all. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ready for your questions. Thank you, Maria. Uh, we have plenty of time for questions. So, any comments? Questions? So, in total, how many words you update by this procedure? Mm. Do you have an, like an idea? Of the number. Uh, the number of added, uh, added word forms. Uh, oh. The number of modified lemmas, but well, it, it might be the s similar number. Um, I know that uh, now the sum is the largest uh, dictionary of Ukrainian. Uh, the uh, dictionary of, um, which includes uh, 18 different dictionary I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, compiled dictionary mm -hmm. yes, has uh, uh, 300,000 lemmas. 
um, in the in the sum is uh, larger. Well, we, we, we didn't count it. Yeah, but like orders of magnitude, was it like tens of thousands or were every other lemma updated or was it like few percent? Um, uh, Andre Rysen is, is adding uh, new lemmas every day. It's uh, uh, our friend originally from Kiev. He is a programmer. And the uh, last 20 years, I think uh, she, she's collecting this uh, dictionary. OK, thank you. Anybody else? You mentioned that the Ukrainian orthography was uh, standardized four years ago, right? In 2019? 19, yes. Yeah, but uh, um, does it mean that you had to rewrite the school books or how did it affect? Uh, no, it means that uh, uh, now we can use both variants as uh -huh. we like. Okay, so you can handle. Yes, and we added uh, this new uh, autography in the Zoom. Mm -hmm. It has a special tag, mm -hmm. uh, autography, uh, old autography mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. autography of mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was very useful. I, I mentioned, it's quite personal, but I mentioned, Maria, that I was born in uh, Ukraine. Uh, I lived there for three years and I was born in Ivano-Frankovsk. I always thought, but it's, uh, it turned out that it's Ivano-Frankivsk. Um, but in my ID, there's Ivano-Frankovsk, so it's a, it's a Russian version and there's an Ukrainian, so now I know. <laughs> so thank you very much. If there's no other question, then thank you again. Mm -hmm.